This may be one of the worst washing machines I've ever seen. It's a GE. It's about a week old. And I'm just trying to spin it down. And it's been about an hour trying to just get the water out of there. It's, I don't know what it's doing now. So enjoy the film. There's a really nice... Uh, the instructions are barely readable in the English language. Nice looking control top though. And usually you can't get much water in it, but for some reason when you want to drain and spin, it puts more water in than any of the wash cycles seem to put on. This may be a long video. There's a, doesn't seem to be any way to take manual control back either. It looks pretty um, reasonable laid out. Unfortunately, it doesn't really work very well in that it takes control. You can't make modifications, or I haven't been able to make any kind of modifications easily. It's going on balance here. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, Not starting again. It may be putting more water in to balance it out. It may not. Who knows? Well, I'm going to pause this and uh, let it run for a little while and see what happens. Okay, about another minute has gone by and I took, lift, lifted the lid up. Uh, there we go. Let me close the lid. Maybe it'll see if it'll start up again. Nope. Oh. So I'm not quite sure why it's putting more water in just by opening and closing the lid. If you have a few days to do your wash, this may not be a bad option. Not sure what the balance or that scrolling display actually means to do. The instructions aren't real clear about it in the book. Well, we're into this like five minutes and I really didn't even start this when I immediately pushed the spin and drain button. So if you're gonna drain and spin something, I guess you might expect it to be a couple of minutes I think we're in for a couple of hours here trying to get this thing figured out, but maybe not. I might be surprised. I'm going to pause it again and uh, wait a few minutes and uh, come back and see where we're at. But you can see where the water level is. It's getting up there. Well, I accidentally didn't hit the pause button on the video, but it doesn't matter. It's still going. It's filling up quite a bit of water. And again, this is on what is called the... Uh, drain and spin. It's not really draining. It should be fill and sit there maybe. So um, it's still going on. I don't know who programs these things. It's probably somebody with a linear mind because the one or two times I've been successful has been to just set it in the beginning and not touch it. It seems to be making a modification during the cycle, like all washing machines would let you do. You could like move the dial a little bit to certain loads. This doesn't really allow it. It's like, you know, do it, the machine wants to do it its way. Otherwise, it's not going to get done at all. Well, I'm still going on with this. You know, I'm tempted to unplug it. I'm tempted to get a pump to pump the water out. We have fortunately purchased this through Costco and it's going back in a week and another machine is coming that hopefully will be different. The other machine 
might be a throwback to the older days when you actually had a dial that you could go to the different cycles. Uh, we'll see what happens. So uh, we have, because this has taken you know literally days to do a couple of loads of wash, and uh, not that I don't mind doing the wash, but it's uh, it's taking a lot of time. Well, we'll see where this is going to get. I'm going to pause this again. This time I'll try and really pause it. I've unpaused. It's still taking on water. And by the way, this is more water than you're ever going to get into a regular wash cycle. And the real neat thing about the wash cycle is it does seem to like twirl the clothes around each other. So when you open up the washing machine, your clothes or sheets or towels are in a real knot. So you have to, like in my experience, spend time untangling them before you can put them in the dryer. Balance nine, whatever that means. Oh, here we go. Something's going to happen. Oh, something is happening. This is probably their self-balancing. And if it works, you know, I'll be kind of impressed. You can see how the clothes are all tied up in knots with each other. That's that's an added bonus. Now, this is probably a clever self-balancing, but what, what puzzles me is the old washer we had, which wasn't that old. It lasted about seven years, which I guess is probably pretty good in this day and age. That was a Maytag. Centennial uh, commercial grade, which is just something they put on it, and that lasted. It lasted about five years, and I started to make some repairs by uh, hitting the side of it and reseating the circuit boards, and I got another two years out of it. It finally went, so we replaced it with this. But the um, well, here we go. Something's going to happen now. Maybe, maybe not. But you can see the knots. See, this is it's really great. If you want to get all your clothes into one ball, this is the way to go. Yeah. This is also supposed to be a water-saving machine, which is really interesting because when you put it on a rinse and spin, it pretty much fills the tub up with water. I want to put this on pause till maybe the next exciting thing happens. Well, about five minutes has passed since I paused this, and you wouldn't know it by looking at the washing machine. And what I find odd is that in the seven years that we had the previous Maytag washing machine, I don't ever think it got unbalanced, maybe once. This has gotten so unbalanced, it's really put in, a, it's jumped away from the dryer, which is also a GE, as you can see. Um, anyway, um, and the washing machine we had before that was probably probably lasted 15, 20 years, and I don't ever recall that having a problem. So onward and upward with the technology. I'm sure some good consulting software consulting company designed the uh, the code that runs this system. Did a great job. Well, I'm going to put on pause again. Okay, it stopped. Something's probably going to happen. The balance has gone away. We're up to 15 minutes. And the light's flashing. All right, some water's coming out. That's the drain, I guess. Maybe that was self-balancing. Maybe it's figured it's all balanced out. We will see what happens. But this is the amount of water that we're getting out in this water-saving um, washing machine. Second time it's done this on the same load of wash. So I guess probably use an extra 30 gallons of water trying to get this load done. People ask why we were returning this. Uh, GE asked Costco. Costco had to come back on the phone and ask me why we didn't want it. It was kind of a lengthy explanation as why we really don't want this washing machine after a week. So, um, here we go. Now it has a lid lock. 
Now, it doesn't actually lock the lid. It says lit, lock lid. And what that means is if you pick the lid up, it's going to, it seems to disrupt the program. And it puts you someplace back in the cycle. And so far, it's been anyone's guess we're back in the cycle. So I've learned not to open the lid while it says lid lock. It should say don't open lid, not lid lock. That one is still going out. What a saving machine. It, that's what it is. See, it's, it's a high efficiency. See that HE, high efficiency? Uh, deep fill is kind of misleading. I should say deep fill when you're trying to empty it. Because deep fill, when you're trying to fill it, doesn't really ever get that deep, in my experience. I have to always say that. Uh, if you're still watching this, uh, it's good for you. I'm going to put it on pause again until the next exciting thing happens. Well, the next exciting thing has happened. We're up to 13 minutes. It's, it's actually increasing in time. Okay, everything is quieting down. Uh, I'm recording this whole thing here, by the way. Well, it's filled up again. And it drained down again. So I figure we've probably gone through 20, 30 gallons of water. Do, uh, not yet. It may be starting to now. I'm not quite sure what it's doing. Uh, here we go. It's starting to spin. Uh, well, it is balanced. Yeah, it's not bad, actually. Now we're, you can see where this very informative display explains exactly what's going on. I'm really not sure what that means, but SEN95, it's uh, some kind of code. But it's spinning, okay. That's, uh, that's good. I guess rather than reach in and try and balance it by hand, this water saving washing machine is going to use about a lot of gallons of water trying to balance it out. That's good. It's balancing away. It's spinning away. That's good. Okay, well, we're down to, I don't know how much time is remaining. I'm not going to open the lid. And uh, on the spin, you have normal more and max. And we're on the more. So, um, well, maybe it's spinning up there. Here we go. There we go. All right, it's like taking off. It's kind of like being on a jet going down the runway. All of a sudden, you, you hit the, what, the V1 or V2 speed where there's no turning back. I think that's where we're at right now. No turning back. Well, all in all, it takes about 12, 15 minutes to uh, spin down a load. I don't think it's going to get any more exciting at this point. I think it's really going to finish up. So uh, let it spin up some more. You can really see that go. Yep. Oh, oh wait, it's slowing down. Maybe it's going to put more water in it. Or maybe it's going to be done. Slowing down. I used to ride the subways in New York City. You never quite knew the subways would slow up all of a sudden in between stops. And then it start up again. You didn't know it was going to actually stop and you're going to be stuck in the tunnel or it was going to start. Here we go. I'm going to pause it until the next exciting thing happens. Okay, it's starting to spin up again this time. And we're at 11 minutes now. Up oh, 10. Okay. So I guess the thinking here is that if you don't get it balanced exactly right the first time, it's going to use a lot of water to kind of self-balance. And it'll probably do that as many times as need to be. 
Now we pay a, a bit of money for water here. And um, it's tough to see really where the water savings comes in. I'll keep this on a couple more minutes because it seems to be spinning. Wow, look at that. Look at that spin. And that's impressive. I will say that is an impressive spin. This is about ready to take off. I bet that's going like three, four hundred RPM. Probably, probably more than that. My guess would be what, five thousand RPM. Yep, that's really something. It's down to nine minutes. Yep, there we go. I'm gonna pause it till the next significant event happens. When significant event didn't happen, but just going faster now. I mean, this is really doing a number on the close, so I guess after it ties into knots, it really binds those knots. I'll see when it opens up. That's really something to watch. Well, this would be kind of a neat shot. GE, scan over to there, to where. That stain remover thing that you see there, that's kind of interesting because it doesn't do anything. It just, just says it. It's not really a button that you can push. Uh, we have those over there. Lid lock, which really should again say, don't, uh, don't open it because you can't open it. And this warm rinse and control lock, it's pretty interesting too. It's not really fully explained. Uh, and then we have the my cycle. Auto soak, delay wash, and sound. So there it is. Okay, we'll go back again and pause. Well, we're at seven minutes, and I'm going to stop making this video because I don't want to spend another seven minutes staring into a spinning drum. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I might have a, a tail end piece of this video, might not. Wait and see. Down to six minutes. That's a good sign.